Derek Magidson here. Thank you for tuning in to my first in a series of videos entitled Getting Started with Microsoft Office 365. This first video is entitled Logging In. This will help you get familiar with and get initially logged into the brand new email system that is being implemented by Central Oregon Community College as of winter term 2013. So as you can see by the screen, I'm on the COCC homepage, and I would just like to direct you right here to the new student email system. So it's what's new. There's a little link here regarding the new email system. So here it is, it's called Office 365. This is gonna replace the Outlook web access that you may be using now. And of course, you'll still be able to use Outlook uh, on the computers at, on campus. So let's get started and take a look at the system. First of all, you wanna notice the first major change and that is you'll no longer log in with your normal email address. In my case, mine is emagidson at coccc.edu. Now you might ask, why are we changing this to the 8-2 number? And probably the main reason is security. You see, if someone has your email address, then they have one half of the two pieces of the puzzle that are required to log in to what should be your confidential and secure email system. So consequently, the 8-2 number is not something readily known and it'll make the system more secure. You also see your 8-2 number being used a lot more to log in to the network up on campus, um, you know, as well as other resources throughout COCC. So anyway, let's get started. The easiest way, I'm gonna go back to the home page. To get to where you can log into the new system is right here in the upper right hand corner. You're used to going here, the student login button. So I'm gonna choose the student login button and I wanna select the web email logon icon. So for a while here, you're gonna see the old system for those of you that haven't been migrated yet or are having challenges with the new system and then a link to the new system. So simply click on the link to the new system and it's gonna open up the login page. You'll notice that the URL or the website address is kind of different. It's adfs.coccc.edu. That may be hard to remember. That's why I would suggest just going to the home page, choosing the web email icon and getting to the Microsoft Office 365. So let's log in. First of all, I've got to break my own rule. This is a temporary account that I'm using for all of these videos. So consequently, the temporary email address account set up for me was eric.magidson at coccc.edu. But where I've typed eric.magidson, you're gonna type your 8-2 number right there. Then you'll wanna enter the password. And hit enter and it'll log you in. Now remember that because this is a Microsoft product, it is going to work best in Internet Explorer. So make sure you're using Internet Explorer when getting on your Microsoft Office 365. You'll make sure that you see all the features and functionalities available to you. So that's it, that's it. You've logged in, you're ready to go. In future videos, we're gonna talk about how to change your password so that you make sure the system's more secure. We're gonna talk about being productive using mail, using calendar, contacts, and tasks, as well as advanced features that are available to you now through Office 365. Thanks for tuning in, watch more videos, and take care.